Police described it as a driving gun battle that started in Melvindale and ended at Beaumont Hospital in Dearborn with one man dead and another injured. Local force Nick Monticelli is joining us live now with more on this story this morning. And Nick, police believe that this shooting was all over an ex-girlfriend? Well, uh, an ex-girlfriend and a new girlfriend, I suppose you could say. Avra, good morning to you. This was an old boyfriend and a new boyfriend that were battling it out, driving, shooting at each other down the streets, going from Melvindale all the way to Dearborn. The good news is, is that one of them is okay. The bad news is that the other one took his life. All of this started as a fight in Melvindale between two men. Please say it was an old boyfriend versus the new boyfriend. The old boyfriend had weapons, started firing at the new boyfriend. A chase ensued, multiple shots fired. It turned into a driving gun battle. The new boyfriend was injured and started heading towards Beaumont Dearborn with the old boyfriend still in hot pursuit. They both got to the hospital campus about the same time. I just seen like cops just swarming the whole place and shutting off like all the exits and everything. The new boyfriend ran inside to get help. The old boyfriend committed suicide in the parking lot. The gun battle never entered the hospital itself, and Chief Haddad says it's because his people were in position. A saving grace tonight, we have a consolidated dispatch that allowed us to consolidate all this information between Melvindale, Allen Park, and our city, and it probably, not probably, it did in fact allow us to respond at a much quicker speed and save a lot of lives tonight. Now it's important to note here that despite different social media accounts, there was never an active shooter inside of Beaumont Dearborn. Of course, there was the shooting leading up to it and the man did take his life in the parking lot, but nothing happened inside of that hospital. We well, are live this morning, Nick Bonacelli, Local 4 News today. Alrighty, Nick, thank you for the update.